Aisha family, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi. I'm Autism Mom and on this channel, we talk about everything autism and special needs. Today, we're doing another fair use reaction video. Let's take a look at the video. Okay, so in the pr first part of the video, I'll just read it to you. It says, people on TikTok, you are not allowed to tell us your daughter is autistic in every video. Yet they'll ask in the comment section, what's wrong with this child? So she has to tell you, but okay. She also goes on to say me, knowing severely autistic POC with intellectual disabilities exist and people only know about them if their caregivers speak out about them. Is she wrong? Asking for a friend. And that's the basis of her video. Let's go to the comment section and see what the real issue is here. So the first commenter says, when your daughter grows up, I hope she decides to never speak to you again. Because she made a video and said that her daughter had autism. Well, she responded with a video. Let's take a listen to it. Well, good thing I don't have to wait till she grows up because she already doesn't speak to me. Awkward silence. Girl, mm. me run into the comment section like, ooh. So the next commenter says, but what exactly are people gaining from adding these comments? Th that's what I'm trying to find out. So someone responded, a lot of people seem to take out their mommy issues on me and excuse me if it seems like I don't care because I don't. That's what the mom responded. So she made another response video and this is it. This is a lie. And me liking birth control related comments is just such a reach. People are trying to say that's eugenics. It's not eugenics to say that if you're not ready to have a child that could potentially have disabilities or and can potentially become disabled in the future, then you're not ready to be a parent and just don't do it. That's not eugenics. Okay, do you think she has a point? Do you agree with her? I would like to know in the comment section below. Tell me, if you had to do it over again, knowing that your child would be disabled or have a severe disability, would you do it? Let me know in the comment section below. Next commenter says, the savior complex is loud on this video. I don't see the savior complex. She's just sharing her experiences with her child who is diagnosed with autism so that other people out there who have kids with autism know that they're not alone, that some of us are experiencing similar things. But I could be wrong. Next commenter says, pulling out the savior and victim complex combo. I tell you, there be some savages on TikTok. So somebody responded, that's a rare one. Somebody else responded literally just because someone may or may not be capable of sharing their story does not give you the right to do so unless they gave you consent. So if my son runs into the parking lot when cars are coming, do I need his consent to remove him from the parking lot? Or leave him there to be hit by cars? Next commenter says, so no nonverbal disabled people's story should be told. Now that's my question. So only people with autism who can speak can talk about autism or share their autism stories. What about the ones who can't speak? Their story shouldn't be out there. Asking for a friend. Next commenter says, they can consent without giving verbal consent. All it takes is the person asking them. If I ask my son, do you want to eat rice and chicken? He's going to look at me like I'm from out of space because he doesn't know what I'm talking about. So I have to make that decision for him. I'm not saying he can't give consent. If he can give consent, if I want to give him something, now I bring the rice and chicken and I gave him a bite and he's like, mm, that's him telling me, hell no, I don't want it. And I respect that. Next commenter says, there is no such thing as severe or mild autism. We all have different needs and different sensitivities. Th those terms are outdated. I am so sick of terms. 
Y'all terminology, every two months there's a new terminology. Don't use this word, use that word. Don't use this phrase, use that. Don't use a rainbow, use a camouflage. Don't use a puzzle, use a heart. Don't use this, use an infinity. I am tired. Every month there's going to be something else. I'm not here to keep up with that. I'm here to keep up with my son's well-being and helping other people through this. That's it. Save me with all these outdated stuff that y'all come up with every month. Every month is a new sign. Please. Next commenter says, People only know about them if their caregivers speak out about them. People with autism have many ways of communicating. Yes, they do. But if you as the parent of a nonverbal child wants to share your story why can't you did you need permission to give birth did i need permission to feed him every day do i need permission to change his pampers do i need permission to put him in school do i need permission to walk him to the school bus and walk him back in the house do i need permission to protect him from danger and harm yeah waiting on you if you would like to follow this creator this is her tiktok page and handle Go give her a follow. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.